All right, guys. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down really three different ways you can sell online programs. All right. And when I say online, that can be through digital products, that can be through phone calls, that can be through Zoom one-on-one uh, -on -one calls, through Zoom coaching calls. There's a variety of different ways that we can break this down. But I want to show you three different things that personally I have done, right? And these are also three things that you can do, okay? But we're going to go through this step by step. So this video requires a lot of attention, right? So you need to be taking notes. Uh, if you're seriously considering creating a digital product or creating an online coaching program or a group coaching program, I would say pay very, very close attention. Um, I know most people out there, they're not going to have 20 to 30 minutes to sit down and have focus. They want the quick answer. What I'll tell you is there's no quick answer with stuff like this. It's extremely detailed. And I know right now, just if we look on YouTube, if you ever see those ads online or on Facebook, so many people are trying to sell digital products, uh, whether that be to businesses or whether that be to kids or whatever it is. Everything is an ad, right? and digital products are becoming more and more and more uh, relevant. Um, I mean, they were already relevant four or five years ago. Um, I remember actually six years ago, that's when I bought my first digital product. And um, I didn't I had no idea really what it was uh, <laughs> until I got it. And making that buying decision back then was, was massive for me because it made me believe that, wow, I could create something like this. Uh, so we're going to go through this and what I want you to do is after you get done with this video, if you're like, wow, like this sounds cool. I want to create a digital product or an online coaching program or a group coaching program. Send me a text to 210-960-5771. That's the fastest way to get in touch with me every single day right now. I'm talking to coaches and personal trainers who watch your YouTube videos. Um, I'm not this YouTube guy that just sits behind his computer. Like I'm in the trenches every day talking to coaches and helping coaches that are part of our mastermind. We have right now um, 85 coaches from eight different countries that are part of our program. All right, so just know that I walk the walk here. <laughs> um, I don't just talk about it, all right? So with that being said, let's dig in. Now, again, I'm gonna break this into three different categories. First is a standalone digital product. Now, the way that I approach this is very simple. This would be like a, an ebook, all right, or a video course that solves a problem, okay? And the reason why I have 47 to 997, and I know those numbers look weird. That's just like a marketing thing. A lot of people that sell courses and products online, they always use those numbers with sevens in them. And that did not originate online. If you go to any car dealership, they do the same thing. Um, go look at the tags on the cars. There's, they're always ending with nines or sevens. It makes the, the buyer think that it's less than, than what the normal price is. <laughs> so 47 instead of 50, 997 instead of 1,000. All right, so don't get tricked up with those with the pricing there. But typically what I see, all right, is people are selling products between those prices online. Now, I've seen some digital products that are $5,000. I've seen some that are $3,000, but I would say it's pretty common to see them between 47 and 997. And there's also like ebooks, some people sell ebooks for for $5 or $7 or $9 or 20 bucks, all right? I'm just showing you what's the most common, all right? And again, this would be like an ebook or a video course. And I know a big question I get is, well, Ben, you know, how could you create something that is online that's, that's worth $1,000, all right? 
the question that you need to ask yourself is why would someone pay a thousand dollars right to have their problem fixed and if you don't critically ask yourself that then you'll never be able to believe that you can charge a thousand dollars for a digital product and i can tell you from experience that you absolutely can do it if you find a big enough pain point that someone needs help with and whatever's within your product it solves their problem and again that can be done through uh, videos like the buyer will go into a membership area they'll consume the content um, you could also have like one-on-one -on -one emails with them uh, you know after they buy the digital product there, there's a lot that you can do and I'll be the first person on, on YouTube that will say this and there's probably actually other people who've said it too but most people who sell 997 courses right and I'm not here to bash on them but I will tell you most of them what they do is they sell something that's outdated right and it's just strictly videos and the average person who buys a course like that never finishes the videos they'll watch maybe four or five videos and then get distracted and they're not getting one-on-one -on -one help they're not they're not able to ask questions and this is a big problem i know that the online industry has is you know a lot of course creators are not thinking in terms of all right i really want to help my clients get the results they're thinking how many units of a 997 product can i sell per month all right and if you do the math if you sell 10 of those per month you're making ten thousand dollars and there's a lot of people out there unfortunately who sell stuff like that that offer zero value outside of the actual actual digital product and i can tell you i'm not one of those people um, ever since i've gone online i've always made it a point to actually help those who buy right whether that be my my ebook that i have um, I know in our mastermind program, I mean, I'm talking to coaches every single day, so that, that's a different story, all right? But you have to think about that. You know, if you're gonna create a digital product, what is being offered outside of, you know, of, of the transaction that happens when they just buy it? Are you helping them? Are you giving them a phone call? Are you getting them into a Facebook group? Um, are they able to email you? And when you add that type of value, now you're personalizing it to where you can actually step up and answer personal questions, right? And that's the thing, anyone who buys something, they're always gonna have questions. So this is why going into it, when you are thinking about creating a digital product, you need to have something, like especially if it's more expensive, right? You need to have something that allows the customer to get in contact with you so you can actually help them because everybody has questions. All right, great example. Uh, the first digital product I got, it was uh, $2,500. And they had an awesome support group, All right? That support group for me was well, like way more <laughs> worth than just paying for the, the, the course itself. <clears throat> like the amount of help that I got from other members, uh, I could ask questions every day. Like just being a part of that group was, was probably 10x the worth of the investment I made just on the course. And then the course was awesome. Like I learned something that like I would have never been able to learn unless I went through that course. Like it would have taken me five to 10 years to figure out on my own. Instead, I paid so I could learn and I could get help from others, right? So that's how we need to think though, is what sort of value are you adding outside of the digital product? If you're doing nothing, right? There are ways to do that. Like if you have an ebook and it's very self-explanatory and the person reads it and they go through it and they go through the, the instructions, great. But I'm always a, a big believer in offering more. And when you offer more, you can have lifelong clients online, which is what you want. You don't want to have to try to sell to new people over and over and over and over again, right? You want to have, I would say, a, a core base of probably between 100 to 500 buyers who start to purchase other types of products and services that you offer. It's way easier to run a business that way than have a bunch of random people who are buying things and they're not completing it. They're not 
they're not getting the help they need. They're not accomplishing the goals that they set out uh, before they bought your program. All right. So that's very clear. All right. And one thing I want you to take away from what I just said is if you create a digital product, all right, figure out how are you going to help the customer after they buy it. And don't just rely on them going through the product because most people don't. And it's sad. Most people buy stuff, don't finish it. All right. Now, the next tier of this is one-on-one -on -one online coaching. Now, when I put $2,000 to $10,000, uh, two grand to 10 grand, when I put that, like, I know most people who see this video are like, Ben, there's no way you could charge $10,000 uh, to work with someone one-on-one. -on -one. Um, if you think that, then you probably also think that you could not charge that amount of money for the current service that you're doing offline, all right? And I'm here to tell you that A, you either have not spent time around people who do that, or B, you have limiting beliefs that you just don't think that that's humanly possible, all right? And this is the same way, I think, with coaches who have come to me that, that have been part of our mastermind that had started off, they were charging $30 an hour for training. Um, like there's a guy right now in our mastermind program. He used to charge $30 per session. Right now he charges $1,500 per month. Like it's a substantial difference. Okay. But he had to change the way he thought about his program. He had to add a lot of value to his program. He had to change his conversations he had with prospects. He had to change his marketing. He had to change. He had to completely change his habits. Right. It's not just changing the price. Like you have to change a lot of things within your business before you can charge more money, all right? And a couple of examples here, if you don't think that you could charge $2,000 to $10,000, go online right now and look at college recruiting services. Most of those college recruiting services, the good ones, are going to charge probably between that amount of money to work with them. Um, I've personally done that with, with kids that I've helped uh, that I've done online consulting with. Uh, if they want to get a college scholarship, will their parents invest $2,000? Absolutely. If you can help them get a full scholarship to a school that could be worth over $100,000, that's a great investment that, that parents will make. All right? That's just one example. Another example is you could have a mentorship or mindset program. All right. It's a one on one coaching program between you and the client. There's several coaches right now that I'm helping that are doing that as we speak. As I'm shooting this video, they have those programs together. They're selling those programs. Uh, that is something you can absolutely do. And all you're doing, right, if you think about the one on one online coaching, is you're helping one person solve a problem, whatever that problem is. And I'll tell you, it's impossible to charge that much if you're solving a very small problem, right? So the bigger the problem that you identify, once you start marketing, you start talking about those things, all right, and you get the word out and we start to drive sales calls, now we're talking to prospects who need help with a very specific problem. And again, if it's a big problem, you can charge more for it because it's a more painful problem. People like to get rid of their problems, right? Whether that be adults, kids, business owners, it doesn't matter, right? People don't like problems lingering, right? And I know for me personally, if I have a big problem within my business and I know that there's someone out there who's already experienced what, you know, what the problem is that I'm experiencing right now, I am 100% on board willing to pay them to get their one-on-one -on -one time so they can help me solve my problem. And I've done that repeatedly over the last 10 years. I, I have invested a lot of money into mentors to get their one-on-one -on -one guidance, all right? And one thing you can know is if you have the one-on-one -on -one online coaching set up, it all comes down to, all right, what it is that you offer, who you are targeting, okay? And what's the price? And when you have those things, you can set up a full-time one-on-one online coaching business, right? 
Because if you just do the math, if you're like, all right, if I'm working with uh, three clients per month, or if my one-on-one -on -one online coaching program is a 12-month commitment and it's $10,000 per person, if I close 10 people who are part of that program, I'm at $100,000 and I am only working with 10 clients. Like, you can simplify the way you think of it, all right? Then you have to think, all right, well, what's included in the program, all right? So I know I could go a lot deeper into that, but I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory with, with how I, I explained it there, all right? Now, just to do a quick recap. First, we talked about the standalone digital product and how if you're not offering outside value with that, then most people who go through that aren't going to get results, right? And then we talked about the one-on-one -on -one online coaching. And those prices can, like, I don't want you to use that as a framework and be like, all right, well, it has to be $2,000. There's a lot of coaches I know who do one-on-one -on -one online coaching for $500 or for $300, or for a thousand, um, I've talked to people who've done it for way more than ten thousand. Like that, those are facts. Okay, but when we get to this next phase here, which is group coaching, all right, this is the most scalable way that you can do it. And I'm a firm believer that it's very difficult to create a group coaching program unless you have already proven results one on one with clients. All right, and here's a great example. There's a lot of people right now who are like, all right, I don't wanna do one-on-one -on -one coaching because they feel like it's not scalable. And they're like, I don't wanna do a digital product. I just wanna sell a higher end group coaching program. And I wanna get hundreds of people in there and that's my goal, all right? The reason why so many pe uh, people and, and coaches and trainers fail online is because they haven't proven to themselves that they can do the one-on-one -on -one coaching. Or they have not proven to help clients get through their pain point and overcome their obstacle that they set out to do. For example, there's, I mean, if you go online right now, I mean, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. There's a lot of people who sell like online courses to how to make money online, right? Most of these jabronis that are on there have not made any money online. But what they've done is they've done a really good job of branding. They've done a really good job of marketing. Um, and they know how to get in front of people and how to persuade people to buy. But they themselves have not figured out how to do that within their own business. They didn't have a business before they did that. So there's a lot of people who do that. And what happens ultimately is those people get sniffed out. And then they have to pivot and, and start some other business. That mindset sucks, right? If you try to start something that you've never really had any experience teaching, then you're going to get sniffed out, sniffed out of the game. And there's a reason why I've been here for so long online. It's because I've actually done what I talk about, right? I've done all the things. All the things I tell my coaches and clients to do, those are things I've personally experienced. Otherwise, I'd be a fraud, right? And I couldn't go to sleep at night if, if I was a fraud. I, I wake up every morning feeling really good about what I do because I know I'm authentic with, with the clients that I help, right? And I also know that like, when you think about online group coaching, you have to be on your game 24-7, right? It's not one of those things that if you think short term, like short term mindset will never work with, with group coaching because you're dealing with a lot of people. You're, you're available for a lot of people all the time. You're having to put presentations together all the time. You're answering questions all the time. If, you're, if you think short term, that model will never work, right? And the reason it's the most scalable though, it's because now you are ultimately doing what you've done one-on-one -on -one online and you're transitioning everything into a group setting. And the only way to do that is by creating systems, right? So what has worked really well for my clients one-on-one, -on -one, all right? What are all, what are most of the problems? All right, now let's go create videos that are based around that, okay? Now let's, let's understand who is the ideal client for this. What are the systems that we have for our support team? What are the systems that we have for billing? 
What are the systems we have for onboarding clients? What are the systems we have for marketing? There's a lot that goes into it that a lot of people just don't realize, right? It's not just, hey, let's, let's set up a group coaching program and, and meet once a week on Zoom. Like there is a lot of detail because when you deal with more clients, now you are dealing with more questions. You're dealing with more people. So how are you going to handle that? And this is why I feel like the, the natural progression of starting a digital product first, then moving into one-on-one -on -one online coaching that's higher priced, then group coaching that's more scalable. It's easier to make those decisions when you've had experience doing work online. It's hard to just start at group coaching if you haven't proven what you want to do with one-on-one -on -one coaching. All right. So hopefully you can see the natural progression here. And again, yes, the group coaching is the most scalable, but that only works. Number one, if you've already proven results one-on-one, -on -one. that's my belief. Now there's a lot of people who, who might see this video and be like, no, like you, you don't need to do that. You don't need to help people one-on-one. -on -one. If you have a solution to a problem, you can help people in a group straight away. I'm not saying those people are wrong. I'm just saying this is, I think the easiest logical way to think about it. And you have more confidence working in a group when you've already addressed working with clients one-on-one. -on -one. And that's because you've gotten the results. And that's the thing I want you to know, like before you exit out of this video, I want you to know when you get results online, that gives you confidence. And when you get results, that gives the future customers confidence that you are the person that can solve the problem, right? And that's how it works. Like your program is not about you. Your program is about serving your clients. It's the same way I look at it with our mastermind right now. My mastermind has nothing to do with me. It's about getting results for our clients. That's why I work so hard, right? And that's why it works very well in our group because it's not about me. I don't care about me. Like when I wake up, I'm thinking, how can I help my, my clients? How can I help my coaches in our program, right? So hopefully all of this makes sense here. Again, if you have questions, if you're like, wow, like, you know, I want to set up a digital product or I want to set up an online coaching one-on-one -on -one program, or I want to set up a group coaching program. Um, there's multiple ways to get my help with that at this point. Um, but what I will say that the best starting point is just send me a text. I just want to chat with you real quick and see what you need help with. All right. And the only way I can really help you is if you're really clear with what you want and I can help you become clear with what you want over a phone call. Um, but, uh, that's it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you kind of like skip through this video, go back and rewatch it. Cause I'm giving you like a lot of detail here with how to get started. What are different things that you can do, how to think about it. Um, and hopefully this saves you a lot of time. Um, so you don't make a lot of mistakes at the beginning when you try to put together a digital product or a one-on-one -on -one coaching program or a group coaching program. So that's it guys. Um, if you like the video, click the thumbs up, uh, comment below this video, shoot me a text at 210-960-5771. Um, shoot me a text there whenever you want and I'll be chatting with you soon. That's it.